the New York hip hop artist who performed illegal buttock surgery using crazy glue, told the judge at the start of her murder trial on Thursday that she was dubbed the Michelangelo of buttocks injections because her sculptures were just a work of art. Now, Padge Victoria Winslow, who was otherwise known as the Black Madam on the hip hop circuit, is on trial for the death of a 20 year old dancer from London who stopped breathing during surgery performed on her at an airport hotel. Now that surgery included the use of industrial grade silicone and crazy glue injected and sculpted into her buttocks. Jurors at the trial have to decide on the degree of recklessness against the third degree murder charges. Her lawyers are saying that she injected herself regularly with the concoction and therefore she obviously thought that it was perfectly safe. But the prosecutors are saying that she held pumping parties and she'd lied to clients saying that she worked as a nurse for a plastic surgeon. District Attorney Carlos Vega said, quote, at hotels, these girls are paying $2,000 to put cc's of silicone that they think is okay into their body when it's poison. He also explained that the same type of silicone is used to make military tanks and that many of her clients are now in frequent pain. Nice picture there. First of all, man's point of view, since I have a man with you. I mean, for me, these pictures are not very uh, attractive looking. Do you think it's really worth it, all the risk, but it's conjectures? It looks like her butt is pregnant. <laughs> um, I think, I know, I don't think anyone finds that attractive, personally, I don't. Well, but the rapper, she, she was beautiful. I don't think she needed to put crazy glue in her ass. I think she looks great. She's, just, she's just actually doing. transgender, and I should have played one of her um, hip-hop videos. They're pretty good, actually, but I oh, guess yeah? people can Google them at home. Now, the thing is, she's on trial here for third-degree murder, which is pretty interesting as far as I'm concerned, because I don't believe there was any intent here. She injected herself with this product regularly, apparently. She thought it was safe. She obviously wasn't that smart. Um, but she's on trial for third-degree murder. What do you think about this? I don't know. She did it to herself, so... I don't think she had any clear intention of killing the woman. The woman who agreed to do this, they're all dumb. Let, let's just <laughs> make this clear. They're all dumb, right? We can't deny that. But murder... Yeah, the clients do have to take, as far as I'm concerned, some responsibility, but they agreed to have this procedure done in a hotel yeah. room. They knew it was off the record. Um, but, you know, she is unlicensed, and she lied, saying she was a nurse working for a surgeon. So I think the issue here is that the clients didn't know exactly what was going in on their body, and this is industrial-grade uh, silicone here. So it's not necessarily malice, but it's clearly recklessness. And she also no. lied about her job. Um, some charges obviously have to be brought against her, but I'm not sure it was third degree worthy. She, she actually rejected an appeal uh, where they offered her 15 to 30 years if she was to plead guilty, but she believes that she can talk her way out of this. What, what do you think uh, she deserves here? Well, now that you've mentioned how she lied, she knew everything and it, it is so reckless i don't know now i feel a little bit different about it i think she should go to prison for a long time this is my <laughs> stuff one thing that's interesting though is that clients who've had a bad experience with her have been asked to speak she asked because she believes so much in her services the michelangelo of buttocks injections mm -hmm. that clients were there were so many clients that were happy with her services that she asked the judge if she could bring clients that were happy with her services to trial but the judge said no i don't personally think that's very fair what do you think at home? Is this worthy of third degree murder charges? And what do you think of those buttocks injections? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe and keep watching the Lip TV.